All right, now waste. Again, there's so many ways waste can be eliminated, and we really don't even look for them, all right? So at this point, I'll give you a short list. We'll find more, of course, if we look hard. But just for starters, headlights. When I was a student in Paris in the 1950s, you could not use your headlights in Paris. Your car had to run on its running lights, as we call them, right? And think of the amount of energy that saved. In Paris, when you have two or three million cars rolling around with the headlights on, I haven't done the math, but how much petrol is that consuming just to keep the headlights on? And you don't need them. The city is well illuminated. So the first thing you do is you get rid of the headlights in the cities and already terrific savings in oil and therefore a terrific decline in pollution in the city. All right. Then uh, you also have tremendous waste now with lights that are on when there's nobody around. Well, we have the technology. For $10 you can get a thing that is a motion sensor now or $20. So this becomes a priority in Greece. Every light in Greece that, that you can within reason, all your highway lights and all that, they all turn off when there's nothing moving. Think of the savings, right? And until now, all those lights, all that energy is just being thrown in the trash. If you have lights on, there's no people there. It's just thrown away. It's worse than wasted. It's just literally, you know, like a crime almost. 